Welcome to another episode of Cooking on the Fry. Today's special guest is Boneless Ribeye. Just short of 14 ounces. I picked this up at Safeway for uh, looks like about $4.30. I just checked uh, on the internet. There's a, a national chain where I could get a 14 ounce ribeye for about $21 before tips and, and any taxes. Well, uh, I don't have that kind of money to spend on a ribeye, especially when I can get one at Safeway for $4.30. So let's see what I can do with this. These two products are all I'm going to use on this steak. Spectrum Organic High Heat Sunflower Oil and Grillmates Worcestershire Pub Burger, which is really, if you look at the ingredients, it's salt, Worcestershire sauce, vinegar, molasses, uh, garlic, toasted onion. I mean, what can go wrong? It's just stuff that people dump on a steak. It's just all prepackaged for me, so I don't, I don't have to get all that stuff. I can just get it in this nice little container that very, very much speeds the process. Here's our steak out of its package. I am so glad I discovered tripods. What I'm going to do first is microwave it, believe it or not, for two minutes at 20%, flip it over, and then do another two minutes at 20%, and this will bring it way closer to room temperature from fridge temperature. Okay, steak is back out of the microwave, and nothing bad happened to him. He's just way closer to room temperature than he was. Now, I already preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I turned it on about eight or ten minutes ago and I turned on my iron skillet about four minutes ago anyway they're both ready to go the iron skillet is starting to uh, smoke a little bit so let's get this steak on the fry oil Stuff, lots of stuff. There we go. Move it around. Flip it over. More stuff. See how easy that is. Now I'm going to sear it on each side for two minutes and throw it in the oven. Here we go. See you in two minutes. Okay, we're two minutes into this, and I'm going to flip it over. Looks good, and I don't know if I said the, the pan is on medium, okay? I always like to tell people where I set the pan. Medium. Okay, I'll see you in two more of my minutes. Been another two minutes. I am going to quickly do the sides. Quickly, right. Okay, now into the oven for two minutes and then I'm going to take its temperature. And as I always say, Safety first. Put down the camera, two hands into the oven. Well, my lighting isn't too good, but it's there. Be back in two minutes. It's been in there for two minutes. Let's take its temperature and see just where we're at. I'm shooting for about 130-ish. And in there, we are yeah, about 110. Let's try this really thick area over here. 
Well, that's really going to town. So it's done over there. That's just great. And then we come in over here. Oh, no, actually, I think we're doing all right. This, uh, yeah. Even in the middle, we're at uh, 131. I'm going for medium rare. That'd be awesome. I'm over one, just over 130 everywhere. And so I'm going to take it out and let it rest. Okay, I just got it out of the oven. And what I'm going to do, I haven't done this before. I, wa I want to see if it makes a difference. I have a piece of foil left, just big enough to hold a steak. And so I'm going to let it rest. Oh, what a mess. This is going great. I'm going to let it rest covered in foil for six minutes. And let's see what a difference that makes. Okay, so rest in peace. Piece of foil. Our ribeye has been resting in foil for six minutes. Let's see how he's doing. Well, there you are. Let's cut into it and see what we got. Cue the, excuse me, cue the dramatic music. Well, that looks okay. Medium well, I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, it actually tastes pretty good. I'm going to go have dinner. Until next time, anything I can do, you can do better. Oh, and one more thing. I didn't notice that having it rest in foil made any difference at all. I could be wrong, but I just didn't notice anything. Okay, bye for real now.